So, why do you get tossed in the claim? Murder? Who was it? Your boss? Your lover boy. <gasps> your lover boy who was also your boss and wouldn't leave his wife because he said you were crazy, so you murdered him and his entire family and then stuffed their corpses with pig's meat and propped them up in a Macy's store window to show the whole world what happens when you break a young gal's heart. <gasps> You're one balled up bear cat, Marianne. Mine was a traffic violation. I ran over a baby. Listen up, Marianne. If you want to keep yourself from going screwy, keep track of time. The other girls waste their energy carving with rocks or shivs, but I found this really nifty chalk in the yard. I don't know how it got in here. Maybe there's a children's prison nearby. Oh, no. How long have I been in here? What year is it? Who am I? Ears here, Marianne. I've decided the way to happiness behind these cold walls is to find religion. Now, the prison library was all out of Bibles, so from now on we'll be worshipping... Gangrock the Destructor. <clears throat> Chapter one. Kneel before Lord Gangrock. Cheer those cheeks, Marianne. I've determined how to stop those hoods in cell block C from pushing us around. Specifically pushing me around. We'll start an old-fashioned prison gang, and we'll call ourselves the Miss Fists. You see, it's like misfits, but miss because we're gals, and fists because we don't put up with no phones for lowness. What do you think? Great! Time to permanently carve this onto my body. Follow this freighter, Marianne. I got a plan to break us out of here. Shifty Sarah in cell block C sold me this blueprint of the prison. First, we make our way out of the Egyptian wing and into the hall of the dinosaurs. Wait a minute. Museum of World History? Shifty Sarah, I should never have trusted you! I used to have a real pet on the outside. A stray dog from the block. We were much the same, Miss Scabywinkles and I. Just like her, I'd been cast aside by the world, and just like her, my mother was a bitch! But that's not true. My mother's really nice. She made me these cuff covers to keep my handcuffs warm in the winter. Eat this, Marianne. I ate a knife! On purpose, I snuck it at dinner. One of the perks of eating by your lonesome. Thought it'd be tough, but with a little salt and pepper, it went down real nice. Now to spill the silver and slice our way free. Almost got it. This feels normal. out, we should use our feminine wiles to lust out. <gasps> if you know what I mean, Marianne. You think any god could resist this tasty tomato? <gasps> oh. Well, I guess I could just stab it. The gals in cell block C snuck me some giggle water. Smells a little funny, but it was free, and you know what they say about free things. They're always good. It tastes like piss! <laughs> I don't think the gals like me very much. I've got our ticket to the trolley, Marianne. It's taken me my entire stay to do it, but I've constructed a lock-picking contraption that's sure to break us out of the big house. It's made of fingernails, bed springs, and- Doris Delaney? Yes! Time to go. What? Your sentence has been served. I, I guess this is goodbye, Marianne. I hope you can manage without me. I know how much you cherish our chats. Wait. <clears throat> Doris, before you go, I know I haven't said much these past months. I admit I'm not the best at expressing my emotions. That's sort of why I'm here. I told this friend of mine, a woman, that I was in love with her. And she rejected me. Said that was disgusting. It made me so upset, I, I just lost control and I did something I'm not too proud of. 
I said she had butt breath, and I slammed the door in her face. <clears throat> and apparently slamming doors is a serious crime, if you're black. Oof. Which I am very. And, well, the point is I'm not too good with feelings. But I just want to say, before you go, that I don't completely hate you. They cry going in and they cry going out. Ah, you're getting the floor all wet. Let's go.